All right, folks, so uh, we're ready to do the, the luminol portion of our blood identification exercise. Uh, luminol is a uh, blood identification testing reagent. Um, unlike phenolphthalein and leukomalachite, uh, when they react with blood, uh, what they produce is a, a chemical color change. Uh, leukomalachite um, reacts and turns uh, greenish blue. Uh, phenolphthalein or Castlemeyer turns a pinkish purple color. Uh, these reactions are the result of the peroxidase uh, behavior of blood. Uh, what they're specifically reacting with is the hemoglobin that's in blood and how hemoglobin uh, can uh, carry or release oxygen. And so uh, luminol is similar. Uh, when luminol reacts with blood, it's reacting specifically with the hemoglobin. Um, as oxygen is released, the luminol reacts and then it produces what's called chemifluorescence. So unlike phenolphthalein and leukomalachite, which were a chemical color test, luminol produces what's called chemifluorescence. Chemifluorescence means that the chemical reaction actually produces light, which you can see, uh, hence the term luminol. Chemifluorescence is similar to what happens uh, when you have a glow stick. So this is a glow stick that I purchased from the dollar store. Um, right now, there are chemicals in here which aren't reacting until after I actually break the little vials mixing the chemicals together. When we actually snap the glow stick, we break it up, releasing the chemicals to mix with each other. We see that uh, as the chemicals mix with each other, then the glow stick actually begins to glow. Again, this is an example of chemifluorescence. If I can get my assistant to turn off the lights, we might be able to see it even better. Again, uh, what we see is uh, chemifluorescence, which is uh, light that is the result of a reaction, a chemical reaction. So again, this is chemifluorescence. Go ahead and turn the light back on. All right, so luminol, when we spray luminol on stains, uh, we're, gonna, we're hoping to see a similar chemical reaction. Now, unlike a glow stick, which actually, even with the lights on, we can still see the glow from the glow stick. That's because this reaction is, is uh, pretty strong. The reaction with the luminol is strong, but not quite this strong. And so, unfortunately, the chemifluorescence that we see is not super, super bright. So even though I'm going I'm to spray the luminol onto our stains here, we're not going to be able to see it real well in a room that's fairly lit up. In fact, the only way we're really going to be able to see it is if we go into a darkened room. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray the, 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 ke the chemicals on our, on our napkin so you can see how we do it. But then we're going to go into a darkened room so we can actually see, hopefully, some of the glow on camera. So we've already mixed up our, our substance, um, our, our reagents in our bottle. All I'm going to do simply is just spray them. Well, the, the bleach is actually reacting strong enough we can actually see the glow here. Um, so this is our synthetic blood, and there may be a reaction, we just maybe can't see it because the reaction is not quite strong enough. However, when we spray the bleach with the luminol, we can see that it, it glows fairly substantial. In fact, actually, we're going to go ahead and pause the camera, and we're going to go into the bathroom and turn the lights off, and hopefully we'll be able to see it even better. And then stop it. Alright, so we moved into a, an interior bathroom within my home here. Uh, this the bathroom doesn't have any windows, so we're going to be able to shut the door and turn off the lights. And we're going to be able to see the chemifluorescence from the luminol a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the door here. Alright, go ahead and turn the lights off. You're not going to be able to see much until I spray the luminol. If, you, if we look down here, we can see that we have two uh, napkins here. One of them has the synthetic blood on it. And then the one on the left here actually has the bleach on it. So I'm going to spray the synthetic blood first and we'll see if we get a reaction. And then I'm going to spray the bleach with the luminol and then we're going to see that. So if you want to go ahead and point the camera down at our two stains here, I'm going to turn the lights off and we'll see what we get. Alright, so with the lights off, I'm going to go ahead and spray our synthetic blood. And we actually can see that we are getting a little bit of a reaction uh, from both actually. The synthetic blood is actually reacting but we see quite strongly as we spray the bleach solution with the, the luminol, we get a reaction here. So actually both of them are reacting with the luminol, the synthetic blood, just not quite as strongly. When I spray the bleach, the one on the left here, like I'm going to do right now, we see a, a, quite a substantial reaction from the luminol. So anyway, turn the lights back on. So that's uh, how you're going to test luminol. So have fun with that one.